Hello everyone, I hope you're well. It's been a while it seems. This is one of my most requested videos, so I thought it's about time I made it. This is my Funko Pop collection. Oh, <laughs> Gary C! I know what some people are thinking. I wasn't going to collect these. I said to many friends, I even said to some of the people that watch these videos at events and stuff, I said, I'm not going to start collecting them because once I start, you know what I'm like, I'll get obsessed with them and then it'll become a thing because they're so cute, la la la. Anyway, <laughs> let's say, we'll go with you first. This is a adorable little Quasimodo with a little gargoyle. It's a convention exclusive that I ordered online and big fan of Hunchback and Notre Dame. But I didn't just stop there because Funko released a collection and you have this one and he has like a little tiny version of him. If you've seen Disney's Hunchback on Notre Dame, you know what that refers to. I also have, this is this is probably my favourite Funko out of all of them. This is the full Quasimodo. And if you see on the back there, he has like a little crown. Um, I don't really want to get them all out of the boxes just because I'll be here for weeks because there's so many to get through. Esmeralda, how cute is she? Love her. She's so cute. Next up, we have the special edition Disney Funkos. Things like this, like this little figment from Disney World, which I bought there in Epcot. And um, it says on there, he's a park exclusive. I absolutely love him. This is for Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival. There he is. Maybe it's easier if I bring them closer to you so you can really see them. Look at him, he's got little foods and everything. Special edition Stitch with his little Halloween pumpkin. Love him. Special edition Woody with little Forky. And I originally bought this because I do like Woody, but I love Forky. And then I realised afterwards there was a Forky pop in his own right. So I was like, oh, well, I have him now. But yeah, I really, really like it. See, there's loads of them. There's loads of different ones. And there he is. Um, but yeah, this is great because it's a special one. And it just reminds me of Toy Story 4 when Woody and Forky are on their little adventure together. A very special Miko and Flit for Earth Day. It comes in completely recyclable, biodegradable packaging. And um, I think this is a really, really cute one. I really, really like it. As I've got each of these, I've posted on social media about which ones are gifted and things like that. But I'll try and remember as we go. This was definitely gifted. This is a recent one. And um, I really, really like this. I just like how it's slightly different to the rest. Special Primark Edition Pinocchio, very, very adorable with Jiminy Cricket. That's why I had to have this one. I just love like the two of them together. Not such a big fan of Pinocchio the film, but love the character and the way that the original characters were all drawn. So I just really, really had to have him. And I just think he's so cute in this. And um, he's a Primark exclusive, so he's a special one. Right, I have two of these, but one is a special one and one is not. So I'll show you the special one first. I keep looking over here and over there just because I'm recording this on my iPad because I knew it would be able to focus on the Funkos. Uh, whereas my other camera will just focus on me and it'll be like, here's this blurry square, treat yourself. Um, so I have to remember to look here, hello. <laughs> this is DIY Mickey. He is an exclusive from Funko and Primark. He is DIY, meaning do it yourself, paint him yourself. And um, I did I did buy two of these. I bought one for my collection because I actually really like the, the whiteness of it, like just him being clear. And um, also the fact he's a Mickey 90. And obviously my birthday is the same day as Mickey and Mickey 90 was very special to me because um, I met one of my best friends, Brogan, at a Mickey 90 Disney event. So Mickey 90 has sort of significance to me. And... Um, yeah, so that's special edition DIY Mickey. I will paint the other one. You can probably see him actually, he's up there. I will paint him eventually, but you know, it's like anything in it. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it. Then you've got DIY Dumbo, which I bought just because I thought he looked really cute. Uh, you might think he looks a bit scary just because he's completely like whited out, but I like the fact that they're really unique packaging and they've got like the paint splodges on them. And there is a Bo Peep and Simba available. Not such a big fan of the other two. So I'll probably just stick to my Dumbo and Mickey, but I really, really like these. Let's have them next to each other. 
because that's how they're going to be in my big frames. But we'll talk about those at the end. There's no frames and things up at the moment because a new frame arrived. So I have three big frames for the Funkos to go in. You'll, it'll all make sense at the end. That's why I'm doing this video because I've had to take them all out of their original frame. So I'm like, while they're out, let's, let's do it. Onward, quite literally onward. And it's a special edition barley that was gifted to me by Funko themselves. And look at him. He's warrior barley. There is actually um, a normal barley as well, Annie and, and uh, Wil Wil Wilfred, Wil Wilden. <laughs> it's like, that doesn't say Wilden, that says Wilfred. No, it doesn't, get your glasses on. And also the Manticore, who is a great character. If you haven't seen Onward, you have to see it. And Warrior Barley is really cool. They also gifted me a Wilden as well. How funny is that? If you've seen Onward, you'll know how amusing it is that he got his own Funko. And they sent me a Manticore, which was very, very kind of them. But because I had all the others, I was like, well, now I have to go on the internet and try and find myself an Ian. And I did eventually find one. So I have all the Onward characters now. Um, I really, really loved um, Onward. Speaking of Brogan, me, me and Brogan went to the Disney event and we bawled our eyes out at the end. Um, so, and we were like gripping each other, crying. So uh, again, I wanted all of the Onwards because it had some sort of relevance to me. Frozen 2. Look at that set. You got Olaf, Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, all the faves. And then Sven. Again, it's quite funny actually, because I was gifted this by Funko and to celebrate the launch of Frozen 2. And then I was like, oh, but I love, I love Sven. I really love Sven. So I went on the internet and I find, found little Sven. So I have the set of them. What should we do next? I think we'll do just... Disney Funkos in general. So who best to start with than Mickey 90, Sorcerer's Apprentice, my one of my favorite Mickeys. It's a shame that they didn't do a Fantasia sort of Mickey with the hat, but this is as good as it's gonna get. And this is, I'll take it. I love this. This is the uh, first Mickey 91 I got. I don't know if I've got any others other than the DIY one, um, but there's quite a few different ones. There's these and then there's like another range of them. In fact, DIY Mickey has the others on it. Um, you can see them. So there's also a band one, playing crazy and a Christmas one. We'll get to Christmas in a minute. I've got the, the other Christmas Disney set um, completed. So who's up next? Fairy Godmother, I had to buy her because she reminds me of when I met Fairy Godmother in Disney, in Disney World and it was just magical, just such an amazing moment. And she was so lovely and kind. So I wanted to get a little Funko to remember her by. I'm a bit torn between what my favorite Disney film is. Sometimes, sometimes it's Beauty and the Beast. Sometimes it's The Little Mermaid. So I had to get these. I don't actually have a bell, I don't think. No, I don't. I had to get Ariel, 30th anniversary Ariel. Um, just swimming away, living her best life and Ursula, who is my favourite villain, and she's got Flotsam and Jetsam with her, her little companions. Unfortunately, the box is damaged uh, because it got damaged in transit, but the company I bought it from were very lovely and gave me 50% off. Or I could have sent it back, and I was a bit like, do I risk not being able to have the 30th anniversary version? No. So I wanted these two to match so that when they're in the frames, they look good together. Anyway. <laughs> More sets, more wonderful sets. I bought this Sleeping Beauty set of the three fairies, my some three of my favorite characters uh, from the entire Disney universe. Love these. It is in fact a convention exclusive 2020. I bought it, how much did it cost me? I remember buying it and thinking, oh, was that a lot of money? It, it felt it at the time, but definitely worth it. I used to have these directly opposite my bed, so I could see them all the time when I was on my computer and stuff and just be like, I'm glad I got them. I love Sleeping Beauty, but more importantly, I love Meriwether and any other two girls. Who cares? Who cares what their names are? I know their names are Flora and Fauna, but let's just say Meriwether is hilarious. If you've seen Sleeping Beauty, you know how funny she is. And it just reminds me of being a kid and watching it and thinking, she's sassy for a fairy. Time for another set. And this is 
Mulan Riding Khan, which was gifted to me by Funko and um, to celebrate the launch of Mulan and, and the live action Mulan. And unfortunately it didn't get released and it's now been taken off the release schedule because of the Corona um, virus, uh, COVID-19 pandemic. But hopefully Mulan and the, lov the lovely people who have made the film will get their time in the cinema and it will be released and we'll all enjoy the magic together. But for now, I have got Mulan Riding Khan and um, on the back, they also do a massive Mushu. I really like this because I really like, I think it's because I really like her. Stop looking over there, start looking here <laughs> because I really like her. And um, I think that's what it is, isn't it? With, with the Funko Pops. If you're drawn to a character, you're likely to invest in, in the vinyl figure of them. My final Disney set, straight from Magic Kingdom. The all singing, all smiling, Dapper Dance. Love them. Absolutely love them. They are so cute. Two things I absolutely love. Disney Christmas combined. And I have the whole set. Um, I can't remember which ones were gifted and which ones I got for my birthday. I think I got gifted one. I think it was, was it Pooh? And then I got the other three for my birthday last year. Because my birthday uh, falls in November, a lot of the Christmas stuff is out then. So let's let's take you through them. You've got Christmas Mickey, absolutely brilliant. It's got a little bell, love that. Christmas Minnie singing from a hymn sheet, <laughs> so cool. You've also got Christmas Winnie the Pooh, how adorable is he? And you've got Christmas Piglet. Combined, they make one of my favourite collections. Uh, let's see if I can hold them all up. This is going to be a miracle. I don't know if the number order is right, but look at that. Now that's impressive. I love them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The only weird thing about having Christmas uh, Funko Pops is that they're out all year round. So you're kind of like Christmassy, but hey, that suits me down to the ground because I love Christmas. So it is what it is. I'm just going to put ad gifted on this video because I've just realised opening out my Christmas ones, <laughs> that quite a few are gifted from this range and then with the other gifted and everything, and it just makes it easier if it's all gifted, whether it's I've bought them or not, just for disclosure and everything. So just so you know, thank you Funko, if you're watching this, for all the Funkos you've sent me over the last couple of years and Shop Disney and friends who've bought them for me, knowing that I like them. Uh, I'm very, very grateful, but here we are. Let's move on to the Christmas Peppermint Lane set. Now this is an, an uh, IP, intellectual property of any brand or anything. This is Funko's own line. And it's almost like I was sat in a meeting with them and said, do you know what I'd like? Classic Christmas characters, because I'm obsessed with Christmas and they obliged because Peppermint Lane is everything I could want and more. And if they release more of them this year, I will buy every single one because these are great. We have Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus with the little, the little lovely candy cane cat. Look at little candy cane. She's got a little gingerbread. Love that. We also have Mayor Patty Noble, who is a Christmas tree. <laughs> How good is that? And then we have the elves, Randy and Rob. Adorable. But that's not all. Peppermint Lane goes that one step further than the normal Funko realm. I was gifted. Now, which ones did I buy and which ones was I gifted? I think I was gifted two and I bought two. But I also got sent one by a viewer in, in America because it was only available from GameStop, that's right. Um, so I bought one, gifted two by Funko, and um, a lovely viewer sent me one. Um, I don't encourage people to send me stuff, so please don't, or, or find a way of sending me stuff. I don't encourage it. Um, I'd rather you just watch the videos and enjoy what I do. Um, but they did get hold of me, managed to get hold of me, and sent it, so I'm very, very grateful. But... You're probably saying, all right, enough of the disclosures and everything, but you got to, girls, you got to. Right, so. Yeah, that's right. This is Santa Claus and his little dog, Nutmeg. 
in a little, with a little house. Not just a little house, the little houses light up. You put batteries in them and they light up. So you can make a Christmas village. Hold on to that thought, because I have them all. Look at that, how good is that? So that's Santa with his little house and <laughs> nutmeg. Oh God, I'm obsessed with these. And my heart is racing. I'm just like, I love these so much. <laughs> this is the wonderful Alice Cranberry with a little, little shop. Look at that. Did she have someone with her? Oh no, it just says with the Moon Crescent um, Diner, the Crescent Moon Diner. Very, very cool. Then, number three is, yes, number three is the one that came from a lovely viewer in America. Um, they know who they are. I will not embarrass them by saying their name, um, but you know who you are and I very much appreciate this because I wouldn't have been able to complete the whole set otherwise because Frosty was from GameStop in America. So yeah, I have Frosty who, the little postman in the post office, oh God, just saying it makes me want to just burst into tears. It's, you, you could sit there and go, oh, why is this grown man crying over these little, or getting emotional over these toys? They just mean so much, especially when they're gifted to me by companies and people and stuff. It's just like, and, and it fits me exactly. It's like, oh, people know what I like, but they, they know the things. And then you have this last one, which is Mayor Patty Noble again, but I think she doesn't have a sash in this one. No, she doesn't. She's got a little sash and then there's like City Hall. I mean, is there a temptation to get all the little houses out and make a village at Christmas? That's what my nephew wants to do. He wants to get all of them out, all of them down and just play with all the characters. And do you know what? I may actually let him, uh, when it's Christmas time, get them all out, put batteries in the little houses and see what they all look like. That'd make a nice little festive scene for Instagram, wouldn't it? All the little houses together. Um, maybe I'll do that, who knows? Those of you that follow me on social media know that I love the wizarding world and the magic of Harry Potter. So I had to get these. I had to get a Harry Potter Funko to represent the Harry Potter franchise and a Newt Scamander to represent Fantastic Beasts. But I also got gifted three lovely, wonderful Funkos that are Patronuses, which are conjured when you say Expecto Patronum and you repel back bad magic, dark magic, the Dementors even. And these were gifted to me by Wizarding the Wizarding World um, as a special sort of promotional thing. And I have all three of them. There you go. So what are they? They are a very special Patronus, Harry Potter's Patronus, which is a stag. See that? We also have uh, Ron Weasley's, in fact, I'll show you them in order, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Also, I have the Otter, which is Hermione Granger's Patronus, which is also my Patronus as well, because I did the official quiz on Wizarding, the Wizarding Gold, Wizarding World website and everything, and that is mine, so that's even more special that I've got that. And the last, but by no means least, Mr. Weasley, Ron Weasley's dog, if I only just got these ones, that, that's just perfect because they're the main three and it's just a lovely thing to have. It's just a very special part of the wizarding world that I can keep. Ah, nostalgia. The reason I was always so reluctant to get into Funko Pops, because I know what I'm like and I love looking back in the past. Maybe it's a mental health thing, like I'm not comfortable in the present or I'm not comfortable thinking about the future. I'm always looking back, but that's a deep conversation for another time. I was born at the beginning of the 80s, 1980, and you know, I was a child of the 80s. So as such, you're about to see some 80s throwbacks. Big fan of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So I had to get myself a He-Man character. This is Orko. Um, there are loads of different He-Man Funkos. I could quite easily own all of them because I owned the original figures. Um, I was into He-Man, I was into the original She-Ra, I was into the original Care Bears, and this was the Care Bear Teddy that I had. We had the vinyl figures as well, um, but my brother and I, well, my brother didn't have the vinyl figures. I think I had a couple, but he had Tenderheart as the Teddy, and I had Grumpy Bear. But the other reason that I got this wasn't just because I was really into Care Bears as a child. It was the first film I saw at the cinema. 
So I wanted to commemorate that and have a, a little Care Bear that was just looked like the original one. And um, yeah, I love Grumpy Bear. He's just so cute. Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors, my favourite musical of all time. I absolutely love this show. I was the dentist in this at university and it's one of my favourite, favourite things that I've ever done. I had such a laugh with my friends. My friend Brendan was Seymour and we had an incredible time. I think I won an award at the university award show for it. Um, what was it called? West End Star. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just had an incredible time. I saw my friend, my best friend Pete in this and he was the voice of the plant. So another reason why I got this, just because it was an in it was great to see him up there shining on stage, but not shining on stage because he was the voice of the plant. So he was like off stage, but he did come out of the plant at the end and it was like, ta-da. Anyway, when I was younger, just a bad little kid, who my mama told me funny things I did. I loved playing the dentist. It was such, it was such a great time. Music by Alan Menkin as well. Um, and Howard, I think it was Howard as well. But anyway, love. My friends know how much this film means to me. It's my favorite film of all time, which a lot of people say but it actually is my favourite film of all time. I have seen it countless times, which is very unlike me because I don't like seeing things again and again, really. And the three women that played the parts weren't just great, they were next level. If I ever meet any of them, I will probably just cry all over them and say, that film just meant so much to me. It was so, so great, so much escapism. Loved the song, has put a spell on you song in it, the performance, and just, Everything about this set is wonderful. Um, they've all got flying contraptions. You've got a broom, a hoover, and I think Sarah's got a mop. But this set, when I bought this, it cost me a lot of money and I would pay it again and again and again. I am so pleased. This is up there with my favorite Funko sets. I just love Hocus Pocus. Speaking of fandoms and magical things, the Dark Crystal, Rise of Resistance, which is a Netflix series that came out last year that I loved for the simple fact that I loved the original Dark Crystal. My friend Tom showed it to me years and years ago. And even though I think it was an 80s thing, I don't remember seeing it as a kid. I just remember seeing it and thinking how weird the characters looked, the faces of the characters looked, and just thought, I don't know if I watched it all as a kid, but I remember seeing it and thinking, wow, this is really trippy and weird. Um, and I remember the Skeksis. Skeksis are these massive bird-like characters, evil characters that are like, mmm, girl fling, mm. And they're just like evil to the core. Three of these were gifted to me by Funko um, to launch the, the series when it came out. And those are Augra, who is one of my favorites, Love her in the original series. Love, loved her in the, the TV, in, in the original series, in the original film. Loved her in the TV series. Then we have Chamberlain. Evil, so evil. Mm, girl fling. Uh, available only at Target in America. Um, so he's a very special one that I have. I don't have them all, but I, I do have four. Um, hup, hup, hup. Uh, great character in the show, really happy that I got sent him. So the three I got sent, I was incredibly happy with, but there's one that they couldn't send me because they didn't have any in their warehouse or their sort of a PR sort of place. And I recently found her, I recently found Deet, who was my other favorite character. Um, and Deet comes with a baby Nurlock as well. I had to check the name of what they're called, but um, there are many characters. There's also one called the Warrior and there is a Rianne, which is one of the other main characters. And I've also seen a special edition of, is it Deet's sister? I haven't watched it since last year. I've only watched it once all the way through, but the blonde um, girl fling, there's a special edition of her as well, but I don't want them all. I've got all the characters I loved in the, in the show and um, Dee is just such an adorable character. It's really hard not to fall in love with her. She's just so kind and lovely and she completes my set perfectly. And now for more fandoms, because that's what a lot of my Funko collection is. It's my favorite things or nostalgic things 
condensed down into a vinyl figure so I can look back at them over the years or, or just remember like why I loved the show or memories that I had. So we'll start off with Goose from Marvel, um, from Captain Marvel specifically, but this is a Marvel character. And Goose is um, funny for a couple of reasons. One, because they've decided to call the cat Goose. And also my friend Adam and I, we say Goose. And so did my friend Tom. Um, we all sort of, I don't know why I find the word Goose quite amusing, but just seeing Goose the cat, I I just find this quite amusing really, that this is my representation for the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's a cat called Goose. That's it. Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. We will not talk about how Game of Thrones ended. We will not talk about Game of Thrones as a whole, because I'll be here for weeks telling you how great it is. But this is one of my favourite shows of all time. And she is one of my favourite characters of all time. I love Daenerys and I needed something to represent Game of Thrones in my collection. And when I saw her with her little dragon, I just looked at her and was like, jump in the basket, let's go. So cute. So cute. I don't even know how many times, uh, there, how many times I've said cute in this video, but... That's what gets you, draws you in, it's the cuteness. Klaus from the Umbrella Academy. I love the Umbrella Academy on Netflix. What a show. Came out, was it last year or the year before? But the new series comes out um, this week. So if you're watching this in July 2020, or after, watch series one, watch series two. Great show. Klaus, Robert Sheenan, is it Sheenan or Sheenahan? never know how you say his name. Robert Sheenan who plays Klaus, great character, love him, loved him in the Misfits TV series on Channel 4. This is just perfect. It's perfect. I wouldn't have this Funko any other way and they do an entire range of all the characters. Um, great show, great representation of my love for it as well. Janet from The Good Place. Another Netflix show. This is like the Netflix homage, but they've had some great stuff. I tell you what, I still don't own a RuPaul's Drag Race Funko. That needs to change. Great character, very funny. If you haven't seen the show, you won't see the, you won't know the significance of the little cactus, but she's not human. She's like a computer generated character that can do anything. She has unlimited knowledge, unlimited power. She can do whatever she likes. And she, you know, conjured up a cactus one day. As you do. Gifted by Funko. DJ Rex. Special one, this one. I don't know if you can read that. It says, Landing 2019 Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. An exclusive Galaxy's Edge character. And DJ Rex is in the cantina in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. He is like mixing the sounds. I think he's also in Star Tours in Paris. I think he is, he's just sort of sat there busying around. But I'm so happy I got him. I'm proud to say that he is my Star Wars representative of my fandom and love of Star Wars and all things Star Warsian. Um, I would like uh, the child, Baby Yoda, with his little cup, but very similar to Mulan and some of the other big sets, he doesn't fit, he's not in a normal size box, so I don't know where he's gonna go, but I would like to eventually buy him myself I say eventually, he's in a basket on some website somewhere, um, waiting for the day that I go, oh, treat yourself. But um, for now, little DJ Rex is my representation. Thank you, Funko. I didn't even know he existed, you could get him. And I especially like the fact he is a special Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. What is wrong with me now? Star Wars Galaxy's Edge exclusive. Brilliant. These next few characters, figures, are really important to me. Um, they are icons and people that I either admire or just love, just adore. And um, <laughs> some of my friends are like, has he got a Funko of me? No. So first up we have Jim Henson with Kermit the Frog. You've already seen how much I love the Dark Crystal. But I'm a big lover of the Muppets and I used to have a puppet on this channel, uh, Cheeky from Cheek TV. So Jim Henson is an incredible figure um, and to have this Funko in my set and just to be able to look at him and be like, 
Thanks. Thanks for the magic, Jim. Bob Ross with Raccoon. <laughs> I really wanted this version. I think the Chase version has a different animal. Um, Chase meaning the special, special like random one you can sometimes get. Um, but I wanted this version because I love raccoons. I think they're so cute. And Bob Ross's TV show. I remember when he first had his like renaissance, his like comeback. Um, renaissance isn't the word. He's like come back online and there was live streams of him painting on YouTube for days on end. It was like a long stream. It just kept going. And I watched it for hours and hours. It's funny, my dad recently mentioned that he used to watch Bob Ross when he came in like late from nights. Um, when he was on TV back in the day. So it's funny that I have this figure. And um, yeah, as as somebody who is who does art themselves, an artist, um, it's just nice to have him and the next character, who is another important figure to me. Um, Bob Ross, just great. Vincent van Gogh, love his work. His painting, Sunflowers 1888, is my favourite painting of all time. It currently hangs in the, the National, uh, the British National Gallery. Is that what it's called? Um, I always just call it the National. So I don't know what its actual name is. The British National Gallery in Trafalgar Square. Wherever, whatever it's called, it is there. And I, I do sometimes find myself just going there and walking straight to it, looking at it, taking it in and then walking out. Um, I've even taken friends there and um, is there a dent on the box? No, there's not. It's his hat. I was like, there's a scratch. It's not. It's just where his hat is in the plastic. <sighs> oh, Vincent, you gave me a scare there. <laughs> Lover or disliker? I'm a huge Mariah Carey fan. I am a fan of all the div many of the divas. I've seen most of them live. I've seen Mariah live the most. I've seen her live five times. She blows me away every time. She's incredibly great live. She, um, I've met her as well in person years ago at a record signing and she was very funny and we laughed at something we both said. And yeah, big fan of Christmas. Love the Queen of Christmas. I wait months to get this because I ordered it on a pre-order and then it didn't come, la 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 la. But when it did come, it's one of my favourite pieces of Mariah merch that I own. And um, yeah, it's just nice to have a little MC up in the collection. You can't see what I can see right now, but all the Funkos I've shown you are around me on the floor. And um, <laughs> that's why I just looked at them. I was like, oh, I've got to go and put these all away in a minute. Bye. Elton John, huge fan of Elton John. Grew up loving his music. Not necessarily the stuff that everybody else loves, like um, Crocodile Rock and Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting and stuff like that. Like it wasn't that, it was, um, I think it started with the Lion King soundtrack. Once the Lion King soundtrack came up, it was 90s Elton John. There was There's some throwbacks in there that I love, but interestingly, it's 90s Elton John to modern Elton John. Um, Rocket Man was my favourite film of last year. Absolutely loved it. Again, like Hocus Pocus, I've seen it, have I seen it three times? Uh, which is very rare for me. I don't really see films again and again, but I, I could really relate to it and um, it was great. So had to have Elton on there. Never seen him live. And now that he's doing his like farewell tour, it looks like I may never see him live. But um, yeah, Elton is a classic, a British legend. Her Majesty the Queen. She is an icon uh, for my country, the UK. And she has been of service this country for a very, very long time. Loads of people come here to see how history and learn about it and to see Buckingham Palace. I love the fact it's got a cool, she's got a corgi with her. I love the Queen. If When eventually something does happen to her, because we all don't live forever, and though it's hard for me to even say these words, I will be devastated. Um, I think she's great. I missed the joke, didn't I? I didn't say from one Queen to another. Oh, maybe I should just add it in. From one Queen to another, it's the Queen. And then another uh, Queeny sort of thing. <laughs> Don't fool Queenie. And then we have Spongebob. Never seen Spongebob, an episode of Spongebob in my entire life. Don't really know what the hype is about, but this is one of this year's special Pride Funkos. And I bought it because I wanted to support the fact it, a donation went to charity 
And I love the rainbow, the fact he himself is a rainbow and it's got pride. It's got a special pride box. And uh, there are other characters in the set. There is, I think there's a pride Batman, a pride Wonder Woman? No, maybe ba just Batman, I can't remember, but I wanted him for the box, the fact that he is this year's, is this year's representation of Pride for me, because obviously Pride was cancelled because of um, COVID-19. So it's nice to have a little something, 2020 Pride, um, and maybe next year and get a new flag and everything else. But um, for now, we have little Pridey SpongeBob. And last, but by no means least, the Gary C. Funko. Some of you may be like, what? How, how, how have you got one? The lovely Katie Crafts made me this, and um, I like the fact that she included the jacket. I'm gonna take this one out, because there's a couple of details that I wanna show you that she included, so it's quite funny. So, she included um, my trainers uh, that I used to wear, the Adidas little trainers. She gave me a little backpack with a little Mickey symbol, um, and like going around the parks, and a camera. But also, the hair part in, it's not like it at the moment, but it used to be. And, because I've had this for quite some time. And then the top, it's got all these paint drips. Because I used to have a t-shirt that had paint splashes on it. It was part of the design. So she really went all out. So Katie, special mention. The only one to come out of the box. We love the little, the little Gary C. Funko. Thank you, Katie. And thank you to everyone who's watched this. I appreciate it's been a very long video. But that's my Funko collection. Um, thank you so much to Funko, Shop Disney, friends and family, the Wizarding World people that sent me the Patronuses, to everyone that sent me Funkos over the years and stuff. Um, I'm going to continue buying them and collecting them. How could I not? Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Mwah. What was I talking about when it come to my frames? Well, there's some of the box sets. And there's my frames. This is how I like to display them. Um, I'll put in the description where I bought the frames from. But yeah, that's it. That's my Funko collection.